You might remember from your previous work that if you hold a pencil off the ground, it has potential energy. So where does this potential energy come from? Think about holding a pencil out in space. Will it still have the same potential energy? No, because it is no longer in the gravitational field of the Earth. In other words, it is the gravitational field that an object with mass has that gives gravitational potential energy. Just like how a gravitational field has gravitational potential energy, an electric field has electric potential energy. Consider an object in the gravitational field of the Earth. Then its potential energy will be given by U equals mgh, where U is the potential energy in joules, M is the mass of the object in kilograms, G is the gravitational acceleration on Earth in meters per second squared, and H is the height from which the object is dropped in meters. Note that H is how high the object has been dropped. In other words, displacement. So we can replace H with S. Now, let's say this object was moved to some arbitrary gravitational field. Then G, the gravitational acceleration of the Earth, would no longer apply. Instead, let's call the new gravitational acceleration due to this new gravitational field, A. We know Newton's second law, F equals MA. So we can write U equals FS. Doesn't this equation look familiar? In fact, the potential energy U is equivalent to work done W. So through some substitutions, we've gone from the potential energy equation to the work displacement equation. But we can go further. Let's say this potential energy wasn't due to the gravitational field instead due to an electric field. Then we know that in an electric field, F equals EQ, where F is the force an electric field with strength E exerts on a charged particle Q. So we can write U equals EQS. Volts are a measure of electric potential energy. In fact, the change in volts, denoted delta V, is equal to ES. So now we have U equals delta VQ, which tells us that when there is a change in voltage, there is work done on the charged particle by the field. This equation is often written in the form delta V equals U on Q. Quite often, people also drop the delta. So you will often see this equation written as V equals U on Q. We can do a unit check. Voltage has units of joules on coulombs. Potential energy has units of joules. And charge has units of coulombs. So the units check out.